Ah, Stella. So generally I like to stay away from all the drama that happens on RuneScape. But I noticed that Stella deleted all her VODs on Twitch, deleted all her clips on Twitch, and then wiped her entire Discord server in an attempt to hide everything that she's doing and the things that have happened in her past. So let's bring them all to light, shall we? Now, if you aren't familiar with who Stella is, she used to be a staker back when the Duel Arena was still a thing in RuneScape. She accumulated over 55 bill in debt, and any time that she got gold, she never paid back any of her debts. Instead, she went to Lumbridge Church and sold it to Brother Jareed for real-world money. Now, before the official removal of the Duel Arena, Jagex implemented a 10 mil cap, so you couldn't stake over 10 mil in one stake. So, when this happened, Stella saw an opportunity and decided to make a middleman in clan, where if you guys wanted to do a 500 mil stake, you would just trade her the 500 mil in stake, and whoever wins would get the winnings. However, if you won and beat her, she would take a percentage of the winnings and you would not get the full double up. Now, Jagex said this was against the rules at the time that you couldn't bypass the 10 mil limit, but she continued to do this until the actual removal of the Duel Arena. Now, after the Duel Arena got replaced by the PvP Arena, Stella needed to find another way to make money because she doesn't play the game to actually play the game. She plays the game to sell gold and make real life money for it. So she decided to make a DMing CC. Now, there was a lot of competition at the time when she made the DMing CC, but all these clans mysteriously started disappearing and everyone started getting banned, and nobody knew why. And she kept advertising that her clan was the only one that would never scam anyone and that she's never scammed anyone in the past, which is weird because you have a 55 bill debt that you never paid back a single dime of, and there's multiple scam reports on site, so I'm confused where she got this notion that she's not a scammer because everyone knows that she's a scammer. So on the screen right now, you'll see a scam report from Scythe that you guys, by the way, could post any scam reports that you guys encounter on there. But as you guys can see, this person loaned Stella 10 bill. Now, Stella decided to block this person instead of ever paying him back. And she confirmed that she owed this person 10 bill through the Discord conversation that she had with this person, which is also going to be on the screen right now for you guys to look at. Now, this next one is someone who loaned her 500 mil with 20% interest. And after she lost that 500 mil, he loaned her an additional 200 mil. And she said he was going to be first to be paid back. Now, it's very odd that three years later, he's still not paid back. In fact, he's blocked. So are you ever going to pay this man? Are you ever going to pay anybody that you owe money to? And it's funny that you blocked him because after you had no more money to give you, you started saying you were going to pay him back and then ban him. So this is how you treat your viewers. You treat them with just all, all you want from them is money. And when they don't have any more to offer you, what do you do? You ban them? Now, Stella is very addicted to gambling and it's very evident through everything that she does. And... The viewers that she has in her stream, she just uses them for money. That's it. She doesn't care about the viewers. And if you don't have any money to give her, you're worthless to her. So if you guys don't believe that, let's uh, go into a clip here where she is literally crying in a call, begging for money, and then saying, Oh, remember when you asked me if I, if I would give you a gift chuck if I was cleaned? Oh, yeah, I would. Now, can you please give me some money? What? <laughs> Chad, you're right. I'm checking my last bill and I'm clean. I'm fully clean. You're right, Chad. I'm fully clean. Why are you doing that to yourself? <laughs> Please, Chad. I want a negative five. Can I eat? I know this sounds crazy. Could it? <laughs> this sounds fucking crazy, Chad. Remember when you asked me if you got clean, would I help you with a gift check? I would. Can you please help me, Chad? Please. You're asking me to help you with your gambling addiction, Stella. Please, John. That's that's not gonna help you. Please, please, please. I, okay, please. I, I, this is all. I'm not even trolling. All I was asking for is a gift check. If I'm not addicted, you're not getting it, Chad. I'm yes, not, you are. I'm not addicted. I'm trying to make my money back. I have nothing left. I have nothing left. I no, you don't get it, Chad. No, I do get it. That you want to make. Stop thinking in what? And stop thinking in what? Stop thinking in what? Do anything else, what? like. Are, are, are you literally still staking right now? Fuck, I just... Oh my god! Actually, I'm about to take a photo queen! Oh my god, I can't do this! Oh my god. Now, the same person that's in the call with her, where she's begging for one bill, look at her DMing CC now. How come every time he joins, he just gets kicked instantly? 
Which, by the way, is Jagex stated that kickbots are actually against the rules, but I guess she's immune to the rules. Look how the mighty have fallen. Chuck used to bully Stella into not getting fang fights, and now Stella just kicks Chuck out of her CC. Unlucky. Now, some of you may be asking, why is she immune to all these rules? Why is everyone else getting banned, but she's not getting banned? Well, that's where Mod Trident comes in. Her little doggy. Now, she claims that she's in a relationship with Mod Trident. Whether she is or isn't, who knows. But he just recently got promoted to head of anti-cheat. And Jagex stated that they were not going to get involved in any of the DMing CCs. But he was in her server monitoring everything and making sure everything went smoothly. And anytime someone else started a clan to compete with her... Everyone got banned pretty quickly after. Now with all these bans rolling in, Stella held complete control of the DMing scene because anybody that wanted to compete with her was just getting banned. This is where Odoblock comes in. Because he wanted to make a DMing clan knowing that he's the biggest streamer on the platform and they wouldn't be able to ban him for absolutely no reason. So he made DM Watch. Now, the first day of DM Watch, instantly, there was way more people in there than there was in Stella and Stella was losing people. So what did Stella do? She probably cried to Mod Trident and said, Oh, find something on Odoblock. We need to get him out of here. Now... This might be speculation, but here's a clip right when DM Watch came out where she said, oh, just give it a week. But they're not immune. What's going to happen is Jagex is going to go through the list, start banning everybody. And then people are going to start realizing like, holy shit, rule breakers cannot actually run a CC. Do you think those people that are ranked right now in their CC, not rule breaking? Do you think they're not RWTing? They haven't just been brought to attention. So if they start DCing, do you think they're going to still want to like run the CC? No, no one's going to want to be affiliated with that. Now, ironically enough, a week later after this happened, Autoblock did in fact get banned on both of his accounts, Bold and Omar. And the reason that was stated was that the anti-cheat team has discovered that he had paid for account services two years ago during their routine checks. Now, I don't know what the hell kind of routine checks they're doing over at Jagex, but you're digging back two years to find something. And you're saying that it's account paid account services, but... There's no documented anything that there was ever gold given or any money sent to this person to do account services, which I'm very confused about because you guys clearly stated that account sharing is perfectly normal, but account services paying for them is against the game rules. So if there was no payment made for anything that was done, how was that account services? That just sounds like account sharing to me. Now, the other irony in this is that she states that people are soon going to realize that rule breakers are going to be dealt with and that you can't RWT. But Stella, you are an RWT -er. That's what you do. That's the only reason you play this game. You sell all the gold that you get. Nobody has ever been paid back any debt. And on the screen right now, I have a proof that you've RWT and received money for gold that you sold. Now, lucky for you, I blocked out your number because I'm not here to share out your real information or give out your real name, which isn't even Stella, by the way. But I'm not going to get into that because I'm only here to expose the scamming that you do. So some of you guys may be saying, oh, but this transaction is from four months ago. So how do we know that she still RWTs now? Well, on the screen right now, you guys can see someone who sent her $1,435 to her Coinbase account. Now, he kindly included the address that he's used to send the money to. So, all we have to do is just go ahead and look up that address. When we looked up that address, we see who it went to. So, what comes up when you look up the address that it went to? Now, on the screen right now, we're looking at Stella's crypto address, which sends and receives money almost every single day. In fact, there was a transaction yesterday on April 16, 2023 for $299. Now, oddly enough, that's the equivalent of one bill today on RuneScape. And there's transactions here almost every single day, like I said. Now, I don't know what Stella's selling here, but it obviously ain't her pencil ass looking nude, so I don't know how Jagex has not taken a look into this. Now, with all these routine checks going on, maybe Ma Trident could do a routine check on Stella now and see all the RWT and account buying that she does every single day. But I guess when it comes to Stella, he's got one hand on his cock and one hand on his phone looking at the news that she sends him, so... I guess we won't get a routine check there, but don't worry, buddy, I supplied you all the evidence you need. Maybe you'll go ahead and ban her now and get her out of the game. Now, there's a lot more I could say about this whole situation, but I plan on saving that for another video to see if Jagex actually does anything about this. Now, if they are investigating Mod Trident, we wouldn't know because they're in the whole Mod Jet situation. They didn't say anything until after the fact, so maybe they are investigating, maybe they aren't. I don't know. I don't think they are personally, but we'll see. And if nothing is done about this, then I will be making another video on this with a lot more evidence because I have plenty of evidence to show you guys. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and let's expose this rat for who she is.